Hey everybody, Prepper Nurse One here. The reason I started that video quietly, I wanted you to hear what I hear. When I sit out here, and like right now, it's it's like if you look over here, over here doesn't look so bad, but out over there, there's definitely a storm. Uh, I came out last night, pretty late, and I was standing here, and in the distance, Heading that way, there was a major storm going on. It was really, really cool. It was very cool to see, to be honest with you. And uh, it was real enjoyable. But, uh, you know, I wanted to talk about in this video, guys. I mean, you know, people, people will say to me, you know, do you get lonely being down in West Virginia by yourself? Well, I'll hear the, hear the thunder. Well, I have this young lady and she keeps me company and uh, I have this this beautiful scenery that I wake up to every day uh, this peace and quiet you know uh, I don't think you I, I mean I can't get lonely with that you know it's like so I'm going to talk about stopping and smelling the roses so that's kind of what the premise of this video is I got good sunshine coming in right now I mean there's a lot of clouds all around uh, again, if you look over here, we got some open sky right now, which is good. More clouds moving in. We're supposed to get some more rain later. But that storm there is off in the distance, which you know you can definitely guarantee you it's raining over there. But, uh, you know, let's take a look here. Let's go into the battery room. Just out of curiosity, curiosity I wonder where we're at. So we will take a look. It's definitely warm, it's humid. Give this a minute here. I don't know why sometimes I just must have to go through the process first. Come on, battery. Eighty-five <laughs> percent in charging. All right, so you guys can see that. So that's good. That's real good. Um, this company, for those of you that are wondering, is BatteryEVO.com. Uh, that's where I picked up this battery. So. Anyway, uh, stopping and smelling the roses, taking time out to reflect, to enjoy. Um, I, you know, this may sound weird, but what I've been doing a lot here, uh, I had gotten in the funk, as you guys had known. I had told you I was in that funk. And I started doing a lot more meditation And uh, after that. And yes, I do meditate, believe it or not, and it really helps. Uh, try to open yourself up to positive energy and get rid of negative energy. If you've never tried that, don't knock it until you've tried it. Uh, talk to somebody that knows what they're doing. It does make a big, big difference, and you will find much more peace when you do that. Uh, when you have yourself all pent up and full of anger and being upset all the time, it's not good for your, your physical body. It's not good for your mental state. So you got to let a lot of things go. Uh, you know, that's just, that's my take on it. You can say I'm full of crap, and that's fine. But uh, I'm going to tell you what. I know it works for me, so I will continue to do it. All right? Uh, you know, we all have choices. But I think more people need to take time. And, you know, it doesn't have to be out in scenery like this, okay? Uh, if you can get to a public park if you live in a town and try to enjoy some of that, a small sliver of what nature is, uh, you're never going to have that in a public area with a whole bunch of other people. But, you know, you can still um, enjoy things. I'll tell you, one of the most fun that I had, a mountain girl had come down uh, to visit after her husband had passed away. Okay, and I took her to um, a park, 
and uh, so it was winter time and the park was closed and so we parked and we went to walk the trail um, and it said you know if you get caught walking on the trail you're gonna be arrested blah 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 and I said yeah okay let's go <laughs> so they had it kind of blocked off but we got through anyway and we walked up through uh, where the waterfalls were and everything was iced over and it was unbelievably beautiful but it was also amazing because there was nobody else around obviously and so it just made it that much more enjoyable and I just think that if more of us took that time I mean my god how could you be depressed realistically <laughs> sorry guys how could you be depressed walking out every day and seeing this beauty this beautiful nature and the peace and quiet and and being able to you know enjoy that and like right now there's a nice little breeze you can see the trees are blowing a little bit so there's a nice little breeze coming through and even though it's very warm uh, of course I'm shirtless <laughs> uh, even though it's very warm it's just really beautiful and uh, you know it's a blessing I'm blessed. Uh, I was so, so fortunate uh, to find this piece of property. And the fact that nobody can ever get right up on top of me is even better. And I like that too. So, um, I don't know, just some things that I wanted to share with you guys, some thoughts. Uh, but I, I think we all need, uh, especially with everything going on in the world today, uh, there's a lot of things that are very upsetting. You know, you turn on the news and everything is negative, negative, negative all the time. And, uh, you know, I'll tell you what. I'm going to give you an example of something. I always like to use myself. When I was with my first wife, my first wife was always angry, always pissed off, uh, always looking for a fight. And you don't realize it, but when you're around that negativity all the time, it brings you down. Uh, it makes you short-tempered. It makes you angry. Uh, because you have surrounded yourself with negative energy, okay? Well, once I got away from her and started living my life, my life, my whole outlook, the whole perspective of everything changed um, and more to the positive, you know? Um, and that really does make, make a difference. So the area that you're in, the people that you're surrounding yourself with, uh, you know, the company that you're keeping... All these things go to, is my life going to be better? Is my life going to be worse? What can I do um, to make things better? And so, again, we all have choices. Absolutely all of us have choices. And it's just whatever choices we make are definitely going to affect our mood, our life, how we feel, the way we look at life. Uh, you know, if you watch, it's my grandfather used to affectionately call it the idiot box, meaning a TV all the time you get sucked in you get dumbed down in my opinion okay because there's nothing but negativity and there's nothing but garbage on those channels and, and crap anyway so you know it just makes a big big difference I know I've been getting a lot more philosophical lately um, it's just I, I, I put myself in a different mind space and I feel better and I just wanted to share thoughts with you guys you know um, it just, you look at things differently. You have a different perspective when you open yourself up and you realize that so much of it that's going on out there is BS. It's all BS. And it's all designed to screw with us and to take away our happiness. So uh, I'm going to encourage you all to be happy, to find your happy spot, to do the things that you like to do, do the things that you enjoy. I'm going to tell you what, I remember as a kid, I used to draw a lot. Used to, I was not bad. I wasn't like, you know, an expert and I wasn't fantastic, but I was not bad. Um, and I got away from that. Now, I mean, I just, uh, I got other things going on in my life now, so I, I probably won't ever go back to drawing. But I did enjoy that, um, you know. But l like I said, you have to, you have to find the things that give you joy. You have to find the things that give you pleasure. And follow that and do that, you know. Whatever your hobbies are, whatever whatever gives you peace, whatever your escape is, I just want to encourage you all to do that. All right, so that's basically the premise of this video. 
Uh, real quick, guys, I'm going to talk about my website, PrepperNurse1.com. We have the PrepperNurse1 community there, which is a resource that we set up for you guys to be able to connect with like-minded people. It is free to join. It does not cost anything. Uh, also, it uh, once you're in, and you like I said, you do have to register, but no credit card information is asked. Once you're in, uh, check out the message boards. Look for people in your state or your country. Also, um, we have the Forefathers, which is a CBD and hemp store. So again, if you check that out, uh, you'll see their logo on my website, PrepperNurse1.com. You'll see the Forefathers logo. You click on that, it will take you to their website. Once you're on their website, if you decide to make a CBD or hemp purchase, you can save 15% by using the discount code PrepperNurse1. Okay. Uh, also, uh, we have... Um, excuse me... Uh, on my website, we have the Legacy Freeze-Dried Foods. So again, PrepperNurse1.com, you'll click on Store, it will drop down, you'll see Legacy Foods, you click on that, it will take you to the store within the website. 25-year shelf life, GMO-free, gluten options available. Uh, it is, it's a good thing to have in your long-term preps, so definitely check that out. Uh, you know, like I said, uh, vegetarian, and, uh, but there are beef and chicken options available separately and uh, it's the largest portion size of any of the other freeze-dried food companies all right so anyway i am going to jump off of here for now me and hella right yes okay uh remember we are all in this together we are one race called the human race if we could ever figure that one out we're going to be in much much better shape also remember to hug and kiss the ones that you love tell them every single day tomorrow is not guaranteed we never know what's going to happen in life so it's really important that we tell the people that we care about every day how we feel. Last but not least, STD. Step thing and day. One step at a time, one thing at a time, and one day at a time. Whatever you're trying to do, whatever you're trying to accomplish, you can do it. The only one that's going to stop you is you. That's it. Nobody else. Stay positive, stay away from the negativity, and you're going to be just fine. All right? I will see you all later. Have a great day. Prepper Nurse 1, out for now.